Everybody's doing something. George's in the kitchen. Now JB made himself available over here. What you doing, man? Did you do it? Come on. You gotta go clean your room. No, not vacuum. It's just gonna be bedtime. So we gotta start picking up, okay? Yeah. Okay. you to bed? No. When we're done? No. Should we do your hair? No. Thank you. Come. No. Thank you. Let's go into the living room. Sit in your ottoman so I can do your hair, okay? Go ahead. We'll clean that later. Did you have a good day today? Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? Party. 
You went to a party? Oh, you went to potty? Yeah. Okay. And the baby did too? Oh, well, isn't that the first? And then it's easy for you to see her. Hey, what are you guys doing? Bella? Javen, let's go. What's going on? What's taking forever? Oh, you already brushed your teeth. Yeah. So mommy, can we get into the Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ellie, that smells so good. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, that smells so good. Oh. Why do you always like get up before your time? When dad's not home, but when dad's home, you sleep in. What's up with that? Uh, yeah. Ellie? Yeah. Yeah. Is there something you're trying to tell me? Yeah. What are you trying to tell me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bible, where's your Bible? Where's your Bible? Turn around. Where's your Bible? Where's your Bible? How pretty is Ellie? I think we're on Genesis 30 something. I'd have to look and see. I read that. Um, I couldn't find your tiny one. I can look it up. <clears throat> no one here has more authority than I do. He has held nothing back from me except you. Because you are his wife, how could I ever do such a wicked thing? It would be a great sin against God. But she kept putting pressure on him day after day. But he refused to sleep with her and kept out of her way as much as possible. But one day, when he went into the house to do his work, and none of the men of the house was there in the house, she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand, and fled, and gulped, and got out of the house. And as soon as she saw that he had left his garment in her hand, and had fled out of the house, she called to the men of her household, and said to them, See, he has brought among us a Hebrew to laugh at us. He came in to me to lie with me, and I cried out with a loud voice. And as soon as he heard that, I lifted up my voice and cried out. He left his garment beside me and fled and got out of the house. Then she laid up his garment by her until his master came home. He was there in prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him steadfast love and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. No idea. No idea. No. Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dream. So the chief cupbearer told Joseph his dream. He said to him, In my dream I saw a vine in front of me, and on the vine were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed and its clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup, and put the cup in his hand. This is what it means, Joseph said. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh you know will lift up your head and restore you to your position, and you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand, just as he used to do when you were his cupbearer. Save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone, for the faithful have vanished from among the children of man. Everyone utters lies to his neighbor with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. He also, he also said, God arise, you handle my enemies, you know. Take vengeance for me. Yeah, 
always was ready to put God yeah. in the place of vengeance. Rather than doing it himself. I like that he recognized, Joseph recognized that his, you know, boss has given everything to him but his wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, oh, that sounds familiar. What? It sounds like the garden, yeah. doesn't it? Huh. You, you're given everything else, but just this just one this thing. Just this one thing, you can't yeah. um, Oh, no. I'm just glad you recognize that he sees. Like he, he said, yeah. Why would I throw this all away just right. for that? Right, and then he said, and he acknowledged that would be wicked to take the one thing. And like, it reminds me of the story of Uriah and David as well. Like, when um oh when he came back from battle yeah but there was a, a, what prophet was that uh, Nathan, Nathan mm -hmm. said you know you've been this man's been given everything but he can't have this one thing mm -hmm. but this man doesn't have anything all he oh, has the is story this. he tells yeah. Yeah. yeah and then he said you know and you know David's like that's just wicked we need to yeah. lock him punish up this man punish him. Like Nathan's like, well, that's you, David. Yeah, you that man. Yeah. <laughs> I, so it kind of it reminded me so much of that too, like okay. just acknowledging that it is wicked when someone treats you so kindly. Right. To repay it with like evil, it's not good. It's weird how she like changes the whole story mm -hmm. when she's the one saying that he's such a good like the way our, the way the other Bible describes it. The one we have, it says that she was saying that he was such a good worker, he was such a good slave, but she then later she lies and switches uh -oh. the whole story around. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, pray. Because you know, later in the story, David, what is David? Uh, Joseph becomes almost the whole head of Egypt. So, like, yeah. I think that's saying it speaks to me as trust God in all circumstances, yeah, because. He's going to turn it into something beautiful. Right. Uh, like, so even if you're in a ter the like, the most terrible situation you can think of, later just know God will work for something else. Right. The Bible says that he works out all things for Do you have anything to say, Ellie? Yeah. You want to pray? What do you want to say? Daddy, oh, God holds you? Yeah. That's right, he does. Yeah. And Bella. And Bella. And Bella. He holds Bella too. Mm -hmm. And Javen. Yeah, God holds Javen, that's right. Baby. And, and the baby, baby. <laughs> okay. Baby God. Mm -hmm. A baby God. Okay. A baby God. Want to close your eyes? Okay. Baby God. Happy Bella. Daddy, Ali, me, baby, mommy, I, Bill, Boggy, Hop, Boggy, Boggy, Hop, Boggy, Amen. Amen. Boogie oh, must have needed some prayers. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll have to check with Uncle. We gotta make sure Boogie's okay. See what was going on. Yes, Lord, you be with Kai. Uh oh, you love Boogie. You love your cousin? Maybe she's sensing something. Should we kind of pray into their family a little bit? Yeah. Okay, let's okay, do that. Okay, let's pray for Father, people. we pray right now for Kalume's family. We all have the Holy Spirit to help us know when to pray for one another. So for our kids, we encourage them when they sense the longing to pray for someone to go right ahead. Eliana was sensing this for her cousin, so we went ahead and prayed for them. Long story short, when we saw them, we mentioned that Eliana had um, prayed for one of them, and they actually mentioned that he had a test. So therefore, the prayer was needed. So we just want to encourage you that when you sense the Holy Spirit leading you to pray, to actually pray. It might not mean anything at the moment, but you never know what God is doing behind the scenes. No, no, we're gonna close. Cleo tries to climb. Cleo slips and slides. Cleo sees a tree. Cleo skips and hops. Cleo meets a bird. 
task to do before going to bed that's putting their dogs away so in the meantime Jory and I would be discussing anything that we need to talk about during the night this particular night we're planning Eliana's birthday party and tell you this is where we gotta go because we gotta go to Hey guys, yeah. five minutes till bed, okay? Thanks for hanging out with us guys for yeah. our nighttime routine. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed spending a little time with us this evening. Yeah. It was good to have you with us. Mm -hmm. You got to see a little bit of our slow paced evening. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, More calm. Yeah. 
We're going to send you on your way. Because we're tired. And we're going to head to bed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> tired. So, and as always, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.